Sprint shares soaring uh, double digits. The company reporting its highest sub growth for the first quarter in nine years. On top of earnings that were in line with estimates, big revenue beat. Sprint CEO Marcelo Claré joins us this morning in a CNBC exclusive. Marcelo, it's great to have you back. Welcome. I think it's always it's always good to be back. You got a lot of people's attention with these uh, post-paid ads, low churn. Uh, what's driving it? Where are these people coming from? Well, I think the, I think the most impressive thing is to get Jim Cramer excited about a sprint <laughs> since <laughs> which which he you did. Uh, he has been a non-believer, so I think the biggest accomplishment of this quarter is actually getting Jim Cramer to be impressed about a sprint. Uh, you know, we're, we're going back to the fundamentals of business, and that is bring a great product at a great price. And you started to see customers come in, 173,000 postpaid phone net ads, which is what matters in this business, and it's actually the highest in the last nine years. So we're happy with the results and the progress that we're making. Um, some analysts, uh, I don't know if you call it nitpicking or not, but they do say CapEx was a little bit lower than they expected. Prepaid still shows more challenges. Is that fair? I mean, you know, we have to get out of the bandwagon that you have to spend tons of money to have a great network. We are we're, we're pretty efficient on how we're building our own network. It's by far the best it's performed. If you follow uh, and, uh, firms that are specialized in ranking your network, PC Magazine, which has been a tough critic of Sprint, basically say that Sprint is back. We beat Verizon in reliability. We beat all three carriers in speed. So you don't need to spend the crazy money that, that carriers have been used to spending. We're going to spend $3 billion. That's good enough. And we're going to continue to give a great service to our customers. And that's proven by the lowest churn in company's history. Prepaid, it's a tough game out there. We've put all of our focus on postpaid. That's where the money is. However, we're going to continue to fight back in prepaid, and you can expect some great results in the future. I hate to talk about Mother on Father's Day. I mean, it is your earnings, but it's a big day for Verizon as well. Do you view Yahoo as a competitive threat now? No, not at all. I mean, uh, you know, I'm always going to congratulate the Verizon team for trying to innovate and trying different things. We're focused on one thing, and that is we're going to turn around the sprint, and we're going to focus in what matters, which is customers that are willing to pay you an excess of $70 a month. We think that's where the money is. They are in a different stage in their company. They have to look for different sources of income. We're not. We're in the, we're in the handset business, in the wireless business, and we're going to continue to fight back and win in that space. Marcello, the, uh, the, the story you lay out here suggests that the fundamentals are pretty firm for you uh, and really across the industry. Does that imply that a couple of years ago U.S. regulators were right uh, to kind of stand in the way of a potential merger? And does that mean the consolidation in this uh, part of the business uh, might be done? I mean, not at all. I mean, I'm still a firm believer that Verizon and AT&T have an edge because of their scale. And it will be nice if the government will eventually allow us to potentially explore making a bigger wireless companies. I don't think they were right. However, you know, you got to play with the cards that you've been dealt. We said we were going to turn our own sprint. We have a five-year plan. We're into year two. Uh, you know, you got to look at the numbers. I think one of the things that people haven't spoken is we generated or adjusted free cash flow of 466 million. That is $2.7 billion better year over year. And we're, you know, we have to generate free cash flow in order to pay down debt. We're focused on that, and we're also focused on returning a sprint to profitability. Now, that doesn't mean that you know, Verizon and AT&T are still larger than us, but you know, we beat AT&T by 400,000 net ads this quarter. So we're putting a good fight, so we'll see what happens when the new government comes around. Uh, the, uh, the Yahoo deal today does indicate, though, that this convergence that you have between various players in the industry, and this has gone on now for 10, 20 years, I wonder whether you see, for example, quadruple play as being one of the holy grails in the future, that maybe a, a telecom company merging uh, with a cable operator in particular, as has been rumored, not necessarily with, your, with yourselves, will be some, yeah. some sort of answer to how consumers and, and content is going. I mean, that's been happening in Europe. You have a lot of, quad, of successful quadruple plays. I think the US is a bit different. You know, you have the cable operators, they're non national, they are in, dif they're in different places, and the government has not let a couple of cable mergers come into place. But anything can happen. I mean, I'm a, I don't believe in, in buying content. I believe that most of the new content that is being created is user generated. Look what is going on with Snapchat and others. Uh, I believe that consumers should have a choice 
of where they get their content and nobody should control the content that they watch. We believe in partnerships. We have our content strategy. And I think the ultimate content strategy is providing unlimited service to your customers so they can choose where they stick their content. Just a different point of view. Again, we wish Verizon well. We love when our industry innovate. And it's great to see one of the big names uh, like Yahoo now be part of our industry. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.